Hey, what's up everybody? Um, today I want to show you um, how we can start using loops in the Smart Piano to start making your own tracks. So again, we go into Live Loops, create a new song right here. I'm going to hit the plus button. Um, I usually like to start with a drum loop, so I'm going to click Loops. All right, then we're going to click Instruments and click All, all Drums. All right, we get a long list of drums here. You could scroll through and listen to a lot of these, or, or you could go to genres and narrow down some of the sounds. Um, so we click on genres. Again, you get a list of genres. Um, you can pick which one you like. Um, click on jazz first. Um, I really like how some of these are sounding, so I'm gonna go back to my genres. Um, click on house. Um, I tend to like house music, so I'm going to click house. Um, and here we have another list. So again, you start listening. Um, I'm going to grab uh, this snare. All right. So again, I could click um, the um, plus button. I'm going to add an instrument this time. Last time we talked about smart piano. So I'm going to click instrument, smart piano. All right, so again, this is what our smart piano screen looks like. Um, the bottom gray notes, again, are single notes. You could tap out. Um, you know, you could tap out the notes, or you could tap the top bar, which would play a chord. So I want to try to record the smart piano with the snare beat that I had originally. So I'm going to click my grid button up here and go back to this screen. I'm going to play my drum beat, all right? So it starts playing. Now I'm going to click that empty box and then I'm going to click record next to my smart piano. It brings me back to this screen. All right, so while my snare is playing, I can still mess around and try to figure out what I, what I want to record with this beat. And once I kind of have a feel or know what I want to record, I'm going to come up here to the top and click that red circle to record. It gives me a count in and then I can start playing to my beat. All right, I'm going to record four bars of this, or four measures. All right, and there I've just recorded that simple um, melody with, with the beat that I have. All right, if I click play, it'll play back what I've recorded so I can hear um, what I just did and decide if I like it or not. All right, now let's show how we can continue building the song. So I'm going to click my grid button up here. It takes me back to this screen. All right, then I can, again, play, play them together using that arrow on the bottom if I want to listen to it again to, to get a feel for what I want to do next. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another um, part for our snare drum. So I click that next empty box and click loops. Um, it takes me back to my snare list that I was on earlier. I'm going to click uh, snare three um, just to show you how to build up with the snare sound. So I'm going to drag that over to my next empty box. All right. And again, I want to try to record the smart piano with that new snare beat. So I'm going to play my new snare beat. And then I'm going to click the empty box in the smart piano and click record. And it brings me back to this screen. So then I, again, I can mess around and try to figure out what I want to play um, with this snare beat. Um, feeling some more chords. So I'm going to try to pound out some chords here. It goes with uh, this beat. All right, and again, once you figure, find out what you want to record, um, then we go up and hit that red circle button at the top and we'll record um, along with it. And I'm just kind of feeling through this. Um, once I decide what I want to record, um, now I'm going to hit record. It gives me my count in. Now I tap what I want to record out with the beat. All right, and there I have a, a new section with the new snare and my new smart piano. Again, I can go back to my grid view and I can listen to it by pressing the arrow at the bottom, figure out if I like that or not. All right. Again, I want to hear what this sounds like from the beginning, so I'm going to play my first column. All right, kind of liking that groove. Now I'm going to go to the next column. See how it builds with the snare getting faster. All right, so there I've 
kind of shown you how you can start building your own songs using um, you know drum loops and then adding in a smart piano um, so this is the easiest way to start making your own song so um, we're challenging you now to make a song with using a drum loop and using the smart piano <laughs> 